Hello and welcome to the Real Show YouTube channel. I don't have to do any fancy intro for this, so we're going to jump right in it. It's good film, bad review. Happy Star Wars Day, Corey. This should be coming out on May 4th. Happy it will Star be indeed. Wars Day. It is. It's a happy Star Wars Day, Murray. Thank you, and a good Star Wars Day it is. We're going to sit back, play some play some jazz music, eat some Melu Ron fruits, and have a good time in Mazza's Castle, or wherever we are. Charmin Spaceport Cantina. I was going to say, I think I prefer to be in a cantina, to be honest. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> That's where I'd be. Tatooine, Tatooine Cantina. That's right. So, Chilling. We're, we're playing Good Fun Bad Review. Rules, relatively simple. Uh, I've got some bad letterboxed reviews, one star of Star Wars films. Each, everyone is a star of a Star Wars film, or maybe a Star Wars TV show. Throwing a couple of them in there as well. I've uh, got three choices for Corey. He's going to have to pick. Which uh, which film or which show corresponds to the review? Yeah, pretty, simple, pre- simple stuff. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy. However, there's one trick in this, Corey. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of these reviews will be for the 1978 Star Wars Holiday Special. Great. <laughs> but I'm not going to say. It won't be in the options. Okay. You'll just, have to, you'll just have to say, I think this is for the Holiday okay. Special, okay. okay? Okay, that's fair. Can you do that? Do you want to get started? Yeah, yeah, I, okay. can, I, I can manage that. Our first review, this is a this is a one star review. <clears throat> Here we go. More repetition than the worst case of flatulence, and with even more hot air. A dreadful script penned by a prepubescent teenager desperately wished the act- acne would disappear. Tiresome drivel. Okay. Very wordy. Mm. Would you like that again? Yes, please. More repetition than the worst case of flatulence, and with even more hot air. A dreadful script penned by a prepubescent teenager desperately wished the acne would disappear. Tiresome drivel. This is half a star. And here are your three options, okay? Could it be A. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. B. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Or C. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Okay, so... Episode 1 came to mind straight away. Mm -hmm. Because everyone hates that film. But repetitive I don't know if I'd call it it's got a pod race in it you know it's not it's just, yeah. it's just a bit plain and yeah. weirdly and I don't know if you'd do it straight away straight away I got um, the holiday special in my head because, oh, because, when it, would I do that to you straight away do you think? but that is repetitive it's the same shot of like the Wookiee house back and forth <laughs> Like we're at a Wookiee house. No, it's not. Back at the Wookiee house. It's the same thing. It's repeat. Mm. It's, I, if it is, if that is a holiday special, mm-hmm. I am in full agreement with everything that review says. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. But would you do that straight away? Would I throw it to you straight away? <sighs> you have to judge. Is this me? You're gonna have to try and out. This here. is this is the dilemma here because I'm like, do I say it is now? There's more of a chance it isn't. Than there is. Yeah, okay. But I guess prob- probability is that it's not the whole thing special straight away. Yeah. But then like what happens if I get to number five? And I'm like, ah, oh, it's it's not none of these is what it is. I'm like, oh it's the first one. Yeah. Oh. I will tell you if if it is the holiday special, I will tell you that you got it correctly if that's what you're gonna guess. It's your choice. It's, it could it's be just one or holiday special. It's right, one okay, well we make a call special. then, Corey. Is it episode one, the Phantom Venice? You're not going to entertain episode two or episode three? No. Okay. <laughs> um, it will be one of them, probably. I'm going to... You know what? Uh, and the viewers at home will not know what this is. Um, I'll show a picture or something on screen currently. Uh, I'm going to ask my old McDonald's toy, which is an eight ball, but it's Yoda. Right, okay. okay, okay. Oh, have you brought that with you? <laughs> it's, 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 just, it's next... Every time I record, it's just next to me staring at me. Right, we're going to use it. What does eight ball Yoda have to say? Eight ball Yoda is this the holiday special. You can hear him rattling. Mm-hmm. Ask him. What's he saying? What's he saying? What's he saying? What, what you got for me, Yoda? Apparently, he doesn't know. <laughs> he, ask him again. Ask him. Again. Yep. Eight ball Yoda. Is it the holiday special? I'm rattling him. Give me, give me an answer, Yoda. <laughs> give me an answer. What you got for me? It's really old. So it kind of floats. That is a yes, I believe. Right. Okay. So you're gonna immediately throw out the holiday that's, special. That's the um. That's the Republic. Nope, the Rebel logo, I think. Yes, that's a yes. Okay. He thinks it is. Come on, Yoda. Okay. Uh, well, I'm afraid we can't trust 8-Ball Yoda because he's wrong. 
It's Revenge of the Sith. I threw him away. Oh, it's Revenge. <laughs> Goodbye, Eight Ball Yoda. We ha- we hardly knew He's you. He's been thrown across the room. Oh, we hardly knew you, Eight Ball Yoda. Okay, right. well, it was. I I don't feel too bad because I wouldn't have guessed that anyway. Oh, it was re- it was for Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, ten okay. point. Prepubescent teenager desperately wished the acne would disappear. Is that repetitive? I think she, he means desperately wishes the acne would disappear. Okay, just next just review. Just... <clears throat> okay. All right, this is a bit of a lengthy one, mm. so I'll put on my best voice for this. This is another half a star review for a Star Wars saga film. This is my least favourite Star Wars movie. I despise practically every character in this movie, including Luke Skywalker, and about half of the movie is rendered completely irrelevant in the greater plot. Characters are constantly making stupid decisions that put Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom to shame. I really gave the Star Wars um, trilogy a shot, but this ruined it for me. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so is this uh, A, uh, Episode 7, mm-hmm. Force Awakens, B, Episode 8, The Last Jedi, mm-hmm. or C, The Mandalorian Season 2? <laughs> right. Okay. Well, if my memory is correct, I can eliminate episode seven because yes. Luke is not in that. Uh-huh. Uh, he, he is. He, he is in it. Is he? He's in it at the end. Oh, God, he is. Yeah, but I don't know. But he, he doesn't do enough, does he? I, no. I, I, I don't think he does enough to warrant to be mentioned. Okay. Episode eight, he's in it mm-hmm. quite a lot. People have a lot of problems with episode eight. Um, uh, the Mandalorian also... season two. <laughs> Spoilers, but 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 Luke gonna, is I'm, in it. I'm gonna guess the I'm gonna guess he's in it. He is also in the holiday special, but it's not that because he met. <laughs> if, ah, right, I also don't think it's Mandalorian because he specifically mentions the trilogy. Yes, it does. It mentions. I think it, it mentions the sequel trilogy. So it is either the Force Awakens yes. or the Last Jedi. So Mandalorian can go, and the holiday special can go. <laughs> Right, yes. Um, I don't think special. he's in seven enough to warrant you mentioning him because I swear all no, he I does. No, I think he just. I think Ray Ray flies to Octo using yeah. the map, goes up a hill and holds him his lightsaber. Unless what we're saying is, like, even the surprise of seeing him back didn't save it. Ben right. Okay. Make sense. Despise every character in this in this movie, including Luke Skywalker. So maybe they're going like, oh. Including him, even if he's not in it very nah, much. Uh, eight. I think it's eight. How am I trying to throw you off the scent? Have you gone for eight? I think because you can't despise him if all he does is turn around. <laughs> right. Easy, easy victory. You've got this one. It is episode yeah. eight. Well there done. We that's one out. Of, that's one out of six. We have got six reviews there for you. Okay. Well, I'm 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 fifty percent. I'll take it. Okay. Um, here. We, okay. Now this is for. I'll tell you. This is for a uh, Star Wars TV show. Okay. Okay. So here is your review. It's half a star, again. Yeah. Even worse than the prequel movie's lol. Absolute trash. Great. Character designs range from fine to astonishingly bad, and the animation throughout the whole series is unfinished. Most of the characters are unlikable to some degree. Not a single episode is good. Avoid. Now, would you like to hear that again? Yes, please. Even worse than the prequel movie's lol. Absolute trash. Character designs went from fine to astonishingly bad, and the animation throughout the whole series is unfinished. Most of the characters are unlikable to some degree. Not a single episode is good. Avoid. Is this a review for A. Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 1 B. Okay. Star Wars Rebels Season 2 okay. Season 1, sorry. Or C. Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 2 I'll repeat those again because I messed them up. A. Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 1 B. Star Wars Rebels Season 1 or C, Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 2. Okay, 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 okay. I am going to... Animations are on... Okay, I'm going to take a bold claim and eliminate Season 2 of The Clone Wars. Right, Star Wars The Clone Wars... Now, I've seen every season of Star Wars The Clone Wars twice, and I've also seen Star Wars Rebels. I've, I've seen The Clone Wars. I can't tell you what season. I just used to watch it when it was on. Right, okay. Uh, so whatever I kind of just found, essentially. But my 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 prediction is that the animation is more likely to be bad in the first seasons than the second one. Yeah, this is correct for both shows, I'll say. Um, now, Rebels or... Mm, 
<laughs> no, I... Well, they say prequel movies, so they Clone do. Wars could be included. Well, they, they Clone say... Clone Wars is set between... Yeah, they say it's worse than the prequel movies. Now, mm-hmm. to my understanding, Clone Wars very obviously has a lot of people you would know if you watched the films. Yes, got Obi Wan, got Anakin. Exactly, you got Obi Wan. Got Anakin. all the prequel characters. Yeah, you've, and then you got others. You know, I think Grievous makes an appearance, and Darth Maul's in it. Count Dooku, yeah, yeah. all your favourites. And then, to my knowledge, and I could be wrong because I've not really seen it. Rebels has mm-hmm. more people you wouldn't know. Yeah. More original characters. Yeah, so I'm wondering if they don't like the characters because they don't know them, or if it's because they're like, "Oh, I like Anakin, but he's not good in in a he's not good in Clone Wars. He's this good. Yeah, you know, they've not written him right." I will go. I'll go Star Wars Rebels. Right, I'll, what you you just made so many arguments for Clone Wars, and now you're <laughs> gone like, "Oh, Star Wars Rebels." I think they're going to say Rebels because they don't know who the characters are. Therefore, we don't like them. Right, okay. Well, you're correct. Yes. It, is, it is season one of Star Wars Rebels. <laughs> so, there you go. I hope you're happy Fair with enough. that one. Two you for got one. two out of six. You're doing well so far. I am. Can you get, can you get half points? I need one more. The Christmas special is still out there somewhere. Yeah, the holiday special is floating around somewhere. It might turn up. Right, here we go. Um, this is for uh, another Star Wars film or, or TV show. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> The nerds at work are all wearing their Star Wars shirts today, reminding me to review this overrated piece of dated garbage. I'm not even trying to be edgy. It took three tries before I finished this. Each time I was bored to sleep at some point. Reminder, there are other movies, you nerds. Better Mm -hmm. ones too. This is a half a star review, by the way. Okay. I'll read this again. Um, The nerds at work are all wearing... Nerds. (laughs) The nerds at work are all wearing their Star Wars shirts today. Reminding me to review this overrated piece of dated garbage. Uh, I'm not even trying to be edgy. It took three tries before I finished this. Each time I was bored to sleep at some point. Reminder, there are other movies, you nerds. Better ones too. I'd also like to mention that this review was posted last year on May the 5th. So, yeah, this is the day after Star Wars Day. So no wonder people are wearing Star Wars shirts, you idiot. <laughs> what a twat. Right, okay. What is this? Is this a review for... A, Episode 4, A New Hope. Mm-hmm. B, Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back. Or C, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. It's the original trilogy he's reviewing. Okay. Or could it be the holiday special? <laughs> I don't think it's a holiday special. Right, okay. I don't think so, because I don't think... Even though it's posted on May the 5th, I don't think, I don't think someone... If I know, because if, yeah, if it's May the 5th, Holiday Special would have came out near Christmas. So, like, you wouldn't go, okay, that's for latest. No one's going to be talking about the Holiday Special and going, yeah, I want to go watch that. Yeah, but it's after Star Wars Day. Yeah, but It's like, the day after Star Wars Day, but this was posted. Yeah, so, like, everyone's wearing Star Wars shirts. Yeah, that made sense. But no one's going to go, oh, it's Star Wars Day. Let's, you know, um, I need to go watch the Holiday Special because everyone's, <laughs> everyone's talking about it. No, no one's going to be talking about it. Yeah. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. So what? Is, so it's episode. Was it five? Six? All right. You have you have you have the original trilogy. So it's episode four, episode five, episode six. Four, five, six. Okay, okay. So four might make logical sense because it's four. yeah. No, it won't be four because. Oh what? No. Four, five. Mm, okay, right. What's Okay, I'm going to picture this, right? Obviously, these films would have already come out. I'm not assuming that people would have seen this in release date because that's years ago. Yeah. Uh, what? What is? Which one is it? It's... I believe Empire Strikes Back is the one that everyone keeps saying is the best Star Wars film. Yeah, it's my favourite Star Wars film. I think that's the one where everyone's like, that's, that's it, that is. That's the pinnacle of Star Wars films. I yeah, believe. yeah. Um... So, on that logic, I would say, after Star Wars Day, you'd go watch them. Mm-hmm. The thing is, and I was having this discussion with someone as well, if, if you've not watched Star Wars, I guess technically, starting with 4 kind of makes sense. I started first... with... When I, I had, when I had a friend who mm-hmm. 
had never seen any Star Wars films before, and they agreed to to sit down and watch. We spent a weekend together. Yeah. Um, watching them all. We started off with I had given two choices. I said we can do it chronologically. Yes. Which means we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, or we yeah. can do it in the order they were made, which is starting with a new row, then yes. a Pirates of the Trail of the Jedi, then the prequels, and we did it that way. We did it with um, starting in 1977. So yeah. So I could go logically and go oh it's four because they'll start with four because why would you start with five because you've not seen four you've missing stuff unless unless like i'm gonna say that empire strikes back is probably the more popular star wars film it is because you know you've got darth you've got i am your father the very iconic scenes true you've got luke you've got hoth you've got boba fett you've got all the recognizable star wars iconography in empire strikes back. Would... okay right i'm gonna go with empire strikes back but, right, but you're ex- you may be expecting to be wrong. I'm go yeah, but I'm also going to say if this guy, if his first Star Wars film was The Empire Strikes Back, he is an idiot. Okay. Because why well, would you start with five? <laughs> is that your is that your final answer? <laughs> yes. Right. Well, he's he's not an idiot, but yet he is. Uh, however, Corey, I think you're an idiot because you're incorrect. <laughs> okay. Did he go it's, with six? It's, no, it's A New Hope. Okay. It's his episode four. Okay. Don't worry, you're not an idiot, it's fine. This okay. guy is. So, so at least um, he started with something that kind of makes right. sense. At least he started with episode four. Yeah. But I think episode... You know what? Episode four is, a, is an incredibly good Star Wars. I like four. It's, it's the one that got put Star Wars on the map. It's 1977. Yeah, it's ge- genuinely, I like, I like four. It's one mm. of the better ones. I watched four recently. I think I watched four after I watched Rogue One. It's, makes sense. Just to see how well they, <laughs> they match up. Okay. Now, this is your next um, review, okay? It's half a star, once again. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I would give this I would give this one negative five stars. Oh. It's about as enjoyable as having teeth extracted without anesthesia while, <laughs> while being fisted by an elephant nice. and being waterboarded with yak diarrhea all at the same time. Now, is this a review for A, Star Wars Resistance Season 1, B, Star Wars Rebels Season 2, or C, Star Wars Droids Season 1. This, in my head, first off, great description. Uh, yeah, would who, you like, I might read that again just for fun. Whoever, 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 yeah, go on. I would give this one negative five stars if I could. I'll try not to laugh. It's about as enjoyable as having teeth extracted without anesthesia while being fisted by an elephant and being waterboarded with a yak in area all at the same time. Okay. Fisted by an elephant. Listen. <laughs> Who wants to, that? And that's nothing that no one wants to be fisted by an elephant. Now, again, uh, waterboarded with the yak. Haven't, I haven't seen Rebels. Um, okay. Do you remember Star Wars droids? No. Nah. Oh, kind of. It's kind the animated of. show with with it's see, it's from like yeah, the eighties or something. Yeah, where they all look a bit weird. Yeah, everyone looks a bit weird. It was like um. Yeah, it's like this weird sort of 80s animation with R2-D2 and C-3PO that was yeah. set before... Ep- it was set before episode... It was A New Hope, but it was before Avengers of the Sith came out, so nobody knew what was, like, the past of R2-D2 and C-3PO were. Okay, so, like... I Again, I don't think it's going to be Rebels. It might be droids, because they might be going, this just looks It was bad. bad. It was very, very bad. However, again, me and you have watched the holiday special. We have. We sat down and we watched it. Together, yes. Yeah. And uh, I I haven't seen Droids. I don't know if Droids deserves minus five stars. I can Droids very... is, is bad. I'll tell you it's bad. I'm yeah, right but now. minus five stars bad? I don't know. But okay. the holiday special, 100%, could get minus five stars. Because are you that go, are you... was bad. Right, is this... <laughs> is this... Uh... Well, put it this way: If a holiday special isn't this one, then it's probably it's the next one. <laughs> right? Are you tell are you telling me that this is the uh, this is the holiday special? Do I have to ask Yoda again? <laughs> Don't go and get him. Just tell me. I this... I am. This that's what I'm going with. Because when you read it out, the first thing in my head was that's the holiday special. Fisted by an elephant, Corey. <laughs> I mean, that Wookie wish he was Jesus. The stuff he was watching. Oh, Ninety <laughs> percent Wookie noises. Yeah, stuff um, he was watching. Jeez. So, uh, are we are we going with? Um, we are. Right. Well, 
You you know it when you see it, Corey. It is the holiday special. <laughs> okay, cool. I've got half. Yeah, you got yeah, you got the trick. You got the trick. Uh, you got the trick review. It is in, in fact the holiday special. Um, so enjoy that in all of its yeah, weird that's, that's manic bad. glory. It's, it's like it's like watching a car crash in slow motion. Go watch it's it. It's wonderfully everyone. hideous. <laughs> go, go watch it, everyone. It was. Don't. <laughs> don't do something better with your life go and cure cancer and feed puppies and, how long was it and help the homeless it was a couple of hours do not lose it do not waste your lives do not waste your brain I'm du- I'm stupid thanks for that film those that whatever hour and an hour and a 45 minutes made me dumber it's <laughs> awful awful why why that sh- why that should ever been committed to film was 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 a mystery to me it's just really bad so, oh, just stay away from it I didn't listen. I should have, but I'm a stubborn. I'm stubborn, unfortunately. Terrible. What was in George Lucas's mind when he thought of this? He probably stays up all night thinking about it, and cries, knowing no one, no one will ever forget it. But as much as he wants, he cannot hunt down every <laughs> copy with a sledgehammer. That's what he said. I think I've told this quote before. I said this quote in the episode actually. It's episode ten. If you want to go back and listen to it, people. It is, yeah. It's episode 10 of the Ghost Holiday Special. George Lucas has said that he have, if he had enough time and a sledgehammer, he would track down every single copy and smash it. <laughs> right. Um, this is your. This is the final review, then. This is review number six. It Can is, you get is. four out of six? <clears throat> this is a half a star review. Mm-hmm. How can so much action be so goddamn boring and childish? It's perplexing. This has to be the most lame of all the Happy Meal movies, even with riff tracks going. My God, the money this crap made. I hate whomever paid to see this. I hate you. You hate me? Right, okay. Hate me. <laughs> he just um, doesn't like you, Murray. No. Is this is this a review for A, Episode 7, The Force Awakens? Okay. B, Episode 9, Rise of Skywalker? Or C, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace? Now a couple of a couple of films coming back here. Could it be? Now yeah. these are all people have panned these. For, I don't think any of them are that bad, but people have panned these all of each one of these films. Okay, so it's okay. Can you can you read that again? I will. Yeah. <clears throat> How can so much action be so goddamn boring and childish? Uh-huh. It's perplexing. This has to be the most lame of all the Happy Meal movies, okay. even with riff tracks going. My God, the money this crap made! I hate you. Never pay to see this. I hate you. Okay, so a lot of action. Now a lot of Star Wars films will have action. Um, again, yeah. Phantom Menace has the pod races. Uh, it starts out with the uh, the robot and the gas. Mm-hmm. Gas, I love that. <laughs> yeah, gas, gas. gas. Um, <laughs> riff. Now I uh, riff. Tra- I've looked this up. Riff tracks is um, basically. Uh, an, an audio, like a commentary sort of uh, television uh, ch- channel show. Right. They do like um, audio commentaries over films, as opposed to like comedians, I guess. Hmm. I don't know, maybe they did one for this film. No idea. Well, that's what Riff Tracks is, if you're wondering. Happy Meal movies. I don't know what they're trying to insinuate by saying that. Kids movies, I assume. Kids, yeah, probably. Uh... They do. He does call it goddamn boring and childish. Yeah, so like. Phantom Menace has has some action. Um, it does have a pretty good action. A good lightsaber, that lightsaber fight. Or hey, what what, what was it? Was it seven and seven and nine? Did you say? Yeah, so it was episode seven, episode nine, episode one. Right. Okay. So nine has that has action. Uh, it, spoilers. Uh, Kylo Ren. Yeah, he passes away. Uh, action. He uh, does. He does. He gets uh, killed in the fight with Palpatine. Yeah, but so, also so, we have Qui Gon Jinn in Episode One. Just a lot of fighting, a lot of action against Darth Maul and battle droids, and lose his life. And then but, we've got Episode Seven, yeah. Han Solo, the tragic passing of Han Solo True. by his own son. True. Yeah, that also has action. No, childish. Childish action. I wouldn't say mm, Episode One. I'd like if I had to say if any film was childish. Yeah. Jar Jar Binks, Episode One. Yeah, that's that's Come kind on. of the route I was going down because like you've got. You got Kylo Ren and you got Ray and like right, Kylo Ren in Kylo Ren in episode seven is like very dark and very gritty. He's exactly. killed, he kills Max von Sydow. 
cold blood, cuts him down, he's stabbing people in the back, he's force choking people, it's brutal in yeah. episode 7. So, like, I wouldn't call that childish. In episode 9, I probably wouldn't call childish either. But the the high-pitched voiced mascot of uh, Star Wars does sound kind of childish. John, yeah, got Jar Jar Binks, you've got that weird pod race thing with two heads. <laughs> the weird, the pod race announcer with two heads. Got he's got a childish, I guess. Yeah, Watto, he's got Watto you know. and the... Who's the other pod racer? So Bulba. Yes, I want. <laughs> so Bulba's kind of... Yeah, they're sort of CGI characters. <laughs> The Nemoidians, Newt Gunray, and stuff like that. Uh, it's it's got to be one. It's got to be now. There are two of them. <laughs> it's got to be Phantom Menace, which Sorry, isn't even. I had to throw a meme in there. It's not okay. even a bad film. I don't mind it. Are you going for Phantom Menace? I am indeed going for Phantom Menace. Well, unfortunately, Corey, you're not going to get to the four. Uh, it's it was Rise of Skywalker. Really? Yep. Huh. It was it was episode it was episode nine Rise of Skywalker. I don't know if it's. Don't know how true that uh, review is, but obviously none of these reviews are true. These are all just reviews by uh, complete very hateful people. But yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a review for Rise of Skywalker. Uh, I can also happily announce that I've gone on Letterboxd and I've gone on the holiday special, and I've gone on all the five star reviews. Yes. Most of them seem like piss takes. Right, good. I'm happy about <laughs> that. Um, it's not true, Kino, unfortunately. No, a, a lot of them seem like a mick take, so it's fine. We'll throw some up. We'll, we'll throw some up on the screen. But also, Five weirdly, seconds. a lot of apparently people's tradition is to watch it every single year. Hats off to oh, them. Oh, God, I, I yeah, pity those off. people. I can't watch it I more than once. I couldn't watch it one year. <laughs> I'd like to watch it no years in future. Thank you very much. Oh, man. God, I'm just sitting through that for you. For you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's sit down and listen to... Wookiees making sex noises. <laughs> this review may contain spoilers. Oh, that's a long ass for it, Jesus. Right, well, we'll leave that then. <laughs> we'll leave that then. But uh, thank you for uh, watching, tuning in, listening to this uh, good film, bad review for the Star Wars special on Star Wars Day. Hopefully this will come out uh, on Star Wars Day. Very happy about that. So um, hope you enjoyed and... Watch some more videos, like, subscribe, uh, follow us on Instagram at The Real Show, and follow us on Twitter at The Real Show FM. <laughs> there's, uh, there's a five star review, and the, the review is just, yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's it. So, it's a goodbye from me, goodbye, and a goodbye from Corey. Goodbye. <laughs>